in this video i am going to discuss about parallel sailing so this is the sailing along the same parallel of a latitude well here this is l and l dash and this is the parallel of a latitude so here suppose this is the starting point a and there is a destination point b so starting and destination point are having the same latitude these two points will have the same latitude so this kind of sailing is called parallel sailing well if we see here this is east and this is west so vessel moves a due east or west so this simply mean either the course is going to be 0 90 degree true that is how the course is denoted or it is going to be 270 degree true so if it is 0 90 degree true so the vessel is going to move from a to b in this direction towards east and if it is going to be 270 degree so the vessel is going to move from b to a in this direction okay so now let us uh, revise the basic concept here north and south these are the two poles and these are some semi circles and these circles are actually great circles with same center as that of a sphere so here this is the big sphere and the center of this sphere is o and the other circles are also having the same center which are cutting this circle and these the semi circles are meridians well one half of the circle makes this side of meridian and the other half of the circle makes this side of meridian now let's talk about small circles which are parallel to equator so the, these what is equator here first the equator is a great circle this is a great circle having the center at the sphere and dividing the earth between northern hemisphere this way and southern hemisphere and this plane is perpendicular to the axis well this is axis this line this north and south this line is the axis so the equator is perpendicular to the axis and this is a great circle and all other small circles are which are parallel to equator are called parallel of latitude parallel of latitude now let's have some points here point a to b vessel moves from point a to b this way and on this circle which is the parallel of latitude this is the center c similarly at the equator it is going to be p and q the corresponding points and the center is going to be o well it has been marked like this for easy understanding now if we see carefully this a small circle which is i think i should mark here with this this is a small circle is nothing but this parallel of latitude similarly this big circle is nothing but this equator and both are having the center which is passing where the axis is passing through these centers so we can say these are the concentric circles and we know that the arc ab and arc pq are proportional to the radius that is the properties of a concentric circle which simply mean that if this is the arc ab then it will be proportional to, to this radius similarly if this is the arc pq then it will be proportional to this radius that makes sense also so we can say that arc ab this arc ab is directly proportional to the radius cb this is the radius cb similarly arc pq this is the arc pq and this is the radius oq so arc pq is proportional to the radius oq well if we divide then we get this relationship arc ab divided by arc pq is equal to radius cb divided by oq well just simply dividing this so we get this equal sign here now if i join this o to p what we see that this is the radius and oq is also radius so ob and oq 
or the radius. This is the radius of the earth or the sphere. Now, since this is the radius, so we can say that radius CB divided by OQ instead of OQ, we just replace by OB. Now let's see that suppose this angle was theta. If this angle was theta, then this angle is going to be 90 minus theta. So we have this triangle here, this way and this way, where this side is B, this side is C and this side is O. And well, this is going to be 90 degree and this angle is going to be 90 minus theta. So this angle is 90 minus theta and this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse. So we can easily say that sine 90 minus theta is going to be here. This is perpendicular. This is CB divided by OB or simply this is cos theta is equal to CB divided by OB. So well the relationship which we had earlier was arc AB divided by arc PQ. So arc AB, arc, what is arc AB? So we can write like this, so arc AB divided by arc PQ is equal to cos theta. Well now we can mark these. So arc AB is nothing but departure. Arc AB is nothing but a departure. And the definition of departure is this is the east-west distance between two points. And since this is a parallel sailing, the course is either east or west. So AB is going to be departure. So I can write like this that arc AB is departure. Now what is arc PQ? Let me scroll it up here. If we see carefully, this this is the arc PQ, which is nothing but a d long. That is difference in the longitude, and this is defined as the arc of the equator. And this is the equator. We know that this is the equator. Arc of the equator contained between the two meridians, and these are the meridians. Well, this is the meridian. This is one meridian, and this is another meridian. These are the meridians. Okay, so departure by d long is equal to now this theta. Well, let us define theta. Theta is latitude. Why? This is the arc of the meridian between the equator. This is the equator and the parallel of latitude of the place. So this theta is going to be the latitude that is as per the definition. So departure by d long is equal to cos latitude and this is the parallel sailing formula. This is the formula for parallel sailing.